Hey, what's up, everybody? Victor here, celebrating victories. Shit just got real where I'm at. Um, they actually put a stay home order, lockdown, whatever the hell you want to call it, um, on the city. And it starts at midnight today. I got to go pick up a bunch of ATMs, take out money out, out of a bunch of ATMs, and, um, you know, react. I anticipated it coming, but I didn't anticipate, like, the reaction time was going to be less than 12 hours. Um, which sucks, but I gotta do what I gotta do, so I'm out there moving. I'm gonna go pick up some ATMs. I'm not gonna pick up all of them because a lot of them are they have like doors that are like behind you know the roll up uh, garage doors that are like metal, so they're pretty secure when, when the businesses are closed down. So I'm not too worried about that, but I'm still gonna pull the money out of those. It just eliminates the time of having to um, take it out, which is good, but um. And then I also got five dogs in training right now. One scheduled to go home tomorrow, one scheduled to go home on Friday, and the other three are scheduled to go home later next week. Um, I gotta do a lot of phone calls and make um, calls towards with clients. So there's a lot of stuff going on. I'm trying to, I'm trying to move, I'm trying to be um, you know, proactive and, and act accordingly and, and trying to remain calm and not you know, panic. Because um, when you start doing that, you know things it just makes everything harder you know and it, you know you'll find your time you'll when you're dealing with stuff like this you guys are gonna find times where you're gonna feel that anxiety you're gonna feel you know the frustration you're gonna feel like you know you don't have time you're gonna feel rushed um, but just you know do what you got to do to get over it and that's how I'm handling it because it is a lot of stuff tune in give you guys some entertainment if you guys are home you know um, and just seeing what I'm dealing with, seeing what I'm going through. I know there's a lot of people dealing with it, so don't think you guys are alone if you are going through it. Um, we're going to get through this together. Just stay optimistic. And, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. All right. Got ATM 1. Literally took about, like, three to five minutes. It's really, really fast. Now I'm on my way to go get another one. This one's going to be a burger spot. All right. So as I told you before, I went to the burger spot. And as soon as I got there, I realized that the door was still locked. They weren't even open. And I actually got off the phone with the dude this morning. I told him I was going to be coming by soon to pick up the ATM. And then, um, so I'm sitting there, wait about five more minutes to see if he's on his way or anything like that. If they show up, no show. Then I text, then I call him. Then he answered my call. And then I was like, you know what, I'm just going to leave. Because I ain't got time to be just sitting there. I got a lot of stuff I got to take care of. So I was like, well, I'm just going to leave then. So I ended up leaving. And then I get a text from him just right now, like two minutes ago, um, saying I'm at Walmart. Come back or um, just wait. I'm like, come on, man. Like, The least you could have done is just told me. You know I was on my way over there. Um, but it is what it is. Control what you can control. And that's it. All right. So now I'm actually on my way to um, go downtown for an ATM there. And uh, we're going to pick up that one. Um, let's see how that goes. All right, so I'm um, leaving the downtown spot, and I didn't pull the ATM. The reason why is because um, it has a security system in place, and also all the doors and the windows are all um, like covered with like those metal rolls, so people just can't like easily break them, break the windows or anything like that, get in. So I'm, I decided to leave it in there, but I did pull out all the money. Obviously, I did place a sign. Pretty much saying that it's out of order, so, you know, blah 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 blah. Um, the money is completely empty, or the ATM is completely empty, and the money has been removed. So I placed that stuff on there as well. Um, and now uh, I'm gonna try to go back to the burger spot. I'm gonna call him right now and see if I'm gonna go back over there. If not, I'm gonna go to the few barber shops that I have. And uh, yeah, I mean, all we could do right now is pray about it. You know, there's a lot of people that's being affected. But control what you can control. You know, pray about the situation and try to remain uh, optimistic, but also have a plan. So I'm on my way to pick up the last ATM. I went over there, looked at it, decided to pull the trigger on it, talk to the business owner, tell him I felt more comfortable with taking it out. So we're gonna actually do that and take it out. Um, but I had to stop at Lowe's to get myself another little dolly. 
I'm gonna try this one. The one I had worked great. Um, it was real light. I liked it a lot that it was light, but it started giving out on me. So I was like, you know, it's kind of pushing it. So I was like, let me go pick up one, you know, here at Lowe's. So I'm here, I'm gonna try this one out. I'll keep y'all updated, one more time. All right, you guys, so last ATM of the day that I'm gonna be picking up, okay? This one was in a barbershop as well. Big glass windows, um, closing down, obviously. So it was definitely a good idea to pull it out. All right, um, now I'm gonna go grab some food. Then I got a lesson, private lesson in about an hour. So I'm gonna take care of that as well. Got some dogs at home, gotta do some training with those guys. So um, yeah, it's been crazy, you guys. Um, but I'm really exhausted, I'm tired. Uh, but it doesn't stop, okay? The grind doesn't stop. Ah, the work doesn't stop. Oh yeah, look, check that out. That's the actual, um, let's see. Let's see if you guys can see the um, dolly. It's not bad, I got it for like 35 bucks at Lowe's does the job it was a little bit weird at first because it's not something I'm used to it was a little bit different than what I'm used to um, but it was relatively easy I was able to take the ATM out and put it in the van by myself this one the other ones I had help with but the other dolly whoa it's one that you definitely need help with with the other one um, and again I like it because it's lightweight okay I don't want to be lugging around the big metal ones I know they're durable I know they're better but I just really don't want to be lugging those things around um, so I'm sticking with the cheaper one. I'm sticking with the the one that may break. It may take some time, but it, it, it probably will break. It's plastic, I think. Some of it's plastic. Um, but it is what it is. Okay. Let me go get some food, man. I'll talk to y'all later. All right. So just to recap on what's going on. First, say what's up to Jesse. Come on, buddy. Say hi. Say what's up. You did a kiss. Oh, man. Yeah. All right. Um, so it's been a couple days since I actually removed the ATMs and as of right now my ATM company is shut down 100% All my ATMs are in op. Not one of them is out in the field. Well, they're out in the field Some of them are out in the field still, but not any of them are generating um, any income Okay, I'm absolutely wiped out because of this whole pandemic. Um, but since this whole pandemic, God bless everybody that's affected to by it in a negative way. And um, hopefully, you know, this, it's the severity of this, um, you know, dies down relatively soon and quickly. Um, but, you know, God bless all those families that are affected and those that um, are in the front line such as like nurses, doctors, and, you know, all the medical field that's, that's hands-on and, and the families affected. So... Um, I just wanted to kind of briefly throw that in there. And um, so since that happened, you know, again, as you guys watched in the video, um, all my ATMs, I, I pretty much either took them out or took out the cash from the ATMs. And some of them, I left them in the actual businesses and others, I actually pulled them out. So during that time, I did have to make multiple trips. So I picked up some ATMs as many as I can. And then I, you know, came home, dropped them off and then went back out to pick up some more. Okay. So a lot has changed since that day and um right now i'm just moving forward day by day taking it easy i um, trying to reevaluate my situation and reevaluate what i'm going to do with my dog training business there's not much i can do with my atm business um actually i, I am kind of considering throwing that laundromat atm out no go out go lay down that's it no that's it come on I'm actually considering um, throwing that ATM in the laundromat that I got waiting. I was just kind of waiting for everything to die down before I actually put it in there. But um, I'm actually really, really considering just throwing it in there see what happens. But um, other things that have changed, I did go through the process of um, letting go of my employees. And that was the hardest thing, one of the hardest things that I've ever done in my life. And I've been through a lot of crap. You know, I've done a lot of stuff. Um, but that was really, really difficult to let them know that I was going to be letting them go. Um, but they will be back. At least, no, well, one of them will be back. The other one is actually moving. So um, that was a little bit easier. But um, my other one will be back. You know, I told her that, you know, I'm going to get things right. I have different plans going on and different ideas to, you know, I'm actually going to be, I have an online dog training website that um, is exclusively for my clients. Um, but I'm actually going to be pushing that out to the public and I hired, I'm going to be hiring a, um, a consult team 
um, that is going to be managing some Facebook ads and, and setting up this whole funnel thing. And this, you know, it's going to be a lot of money, but I think it's an investment that's going to pay a lot of dividends and, and be worth it in the long term. And, um, you know, right now, again, I don't really see, if you watched my last video, I talked about it, but I don't really see, you know, people paying a top dollar for dog training, um, specifically what I want dog training. Um, I'm still going to run it and I'm still going to keep, you know, doing it. Um, but I just got to be cautious. I got to, you know, be careful how I'm doing things and, um, you know, safety is the biggest thing, but, um, like I mentioned, I did hire a, um, consulting team, a consultant team that runs Facebook ads and set up funnels and things like that to promote my dog training website, um, online website. So hopefully I could generate some good income on that and I'll keep you guys updated. All right. Um, but for now, this is where I'm at. I'm at zero income this, not this month because the month of March, I made some decent money up until that day, which I think that day was like the 20 March 25th or 24th or something like that. Um, so, um, yeah, but next month, April, we'll see what happens. We'll see if we can get these ATMs back in there ASAP. And if opportunities do arise as far as putting ATMs in different locations that are still open. Um, if you guys are looking into that, look at food markets, look at restaurants, look at, um, you know, it's really hard now because it depends on where you're at, obviously. But in my demographics, um, the only things that are, are open are liquor stores. So we can be putting them in liquor stores, um, not bars, but liquor stores. Uh, markets like food markets and restaurants things are like things like that the only restaurants that are open are ones that have drop-off like delivery and that can people can just come and pick it up pick up the food and leave um, but other than that you know it'd be kind of hard to get into get into ATMs in specific spots now but you you could still do it all right um, I hope this video you know gives some insight you know, all right I guess right now it's just some entertainment nothing really um I'm helping you guys out with as far as like tips and tricks and you know the ATM business um but it's just definitely something to talk about something to be aware of on my situation I'm really gonna um I'm really enjoying just kind of documenting it and looking back and see the success because we will have success all right there will be better days I definitely dove into the stock market as well because that is like depleted um uh, really low so I, I threw some money in there which was cool um and we'll watch that grow as time goes on but yeah that's pretty much it guys um if you like this video hit the thumbs up if you haven't done so already make sure you subscribe and if you also haven't done so already hit the notification bell as well and i'll talk to y'all in another video later hold up hold up hold up real quick before you guys go if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so by hitting this button right here and if you want to check out some more of my content be sure to click right here Talk to y'all later.